hi guys welcome back to mama soj vlog how are you guys doing if you are new here you are welcome and if you are returning subscriber god bless you as you always come back to watch my video my people don't be smart you know and i know seeing a different news now they land from my table and as the news they come that's why they carry and call you to come share and water now my people for today's video go to watch her together with now all right my people we could go watch the video to see what really they apple for inside the video my people um honestly the obedient moment is a uh... It's a patriotic organization now. There are patriotic individuals that come together to look for a way forward, to find a meaning in the way, means, a manner in which the nation is being governed. So those patriotic individuals are still part and parcel of the party. The party have absorbed each and every one of the obedient who feel that beyond the moment that wish or hope to usher in uh, Mr. Obi as the president of Nigeria, they still have the zeal to continue to fight and to struggle for the emancipation and liberation of Nigerians. But, but there is a difference, isn't there, between the obedient movement and the Labour Party? Because, I mean, the party has gained one governorship seat, eight senators, 34 representatives in the House, 68 state assembly members. But the Labour Party would never have achieved such a feat without Peter B and the obedient movement. And I'm wondering, what does that mean for the quest for political power and lasting change? Because if the obedient movement divorces itself from the Labour Party, the Labour Party will simply go back to what it used to be without really that fundamental energizing elements that it needed to bring it to where it is today well we i i will agree with you uh, and disagree with you i i disagree with you the fact that if the obedient moment leave or you know stop their spot where the election ends then the Labour Party will go. No, well, Labour I, I Party. I mean, both Peter B and the, I mean, because Peter B is inextricably linked to the obedient movement. That, that's the whole point of the word obedient. You see what I mean? Yes, the word came as a result of right. OB getting the ticket to run for presidency from mm. the Labour Party. So, Labour Party, OB, and the obedient are linked together. Obi will not have been or have, may not have, the Ovidian may not have, find a way to follow Obi if he is in any other party. No, actually, that, I think that's, yes. a, that's wrong. It, well, you, you may say it is wrong. Well, me I mean, you, I, I, me I'm, it's not it me right. saying it. I'm simply articulating. I want, I, I what want the to correct the impression. Right, okay. I want to correct the impression that right. Obi was in PDP. We didn't see that kind of hype moment. No, no, because he, he didn't become the presidential candidate in the PDP. Did well, he? Well, 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 we didn't see that hived when he was in PDP wanting to vie him for the uh, presidency during the primary. In any case, we want to assure the Ovidian that they have a home, they have a place in the Labour right. Party. And you need Labour them, Party. don't you? Because if they're not there, course, then you, you don't really have course, much we to, need them. to offer, do you? But for them, they have a lot to offer, and they have offered a lot. Right. And they cannot do as much as they have done if they are not member of the Labour Party. Okay, well, let, let, let's now say, given that you've married the two, I mean, you're, you're saying that they've, they, there's a symbiotic sort of relationship yes, yep. inside the... And, and that the common sort of symbiosis is the Labour Party that brings them together, brings Peter B together. Um, in the likely event that Bola Tinubu is sworn in as the next president of Nigeria, which is likely to happen, what sort of romance will the obedient movement have with Mr. Tinubu's government? Well, as far as the Labour Party is concerned, we are behind Peter Obi. He has filed the party and the 
candidate have filed a case at the tribunal and will not say anything I will mm. not assume anything will happen until when the case is being mm. determined. And but you have to think ahead. We, we've been thinking ahead. Of course, we have our plan B. Right. But the issue is, is all we are wanting is new Nigeria. All we want is to have a Nigeria where peace and justice should reign. Right. We want to have a skilled Nigeria, a prosperous Nigeria. And uh, anything outside that is not acceptable to Nigerians. And we're not going to accept it. Right. Well, what, when you say you're not going to accept it, I'm wondering what your role and your remit, and when I mean your, I mean the, the obedient movement inextricably linked with the Labour Party. Um, I, I wonder what your role and your re, whether your role and your remit will widen to become some sort of like that of the opposition essentially rebutting and questioning government policies in a democratic setting or will your remit be more like the end SARS remit of dissent and continuing protests because I mean the two are kind of side by side aren't they well you see um, the obedient uh, uh, movement uh, uh, tend to be a little uh, uh, more uh, radical the, the thing is this of course you, you know I, 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 I'm more light in bringing the answers, uh, uh, you know, phenomenon with the evil obedient movement of, uh, of the, or where they accept democracy and then people come together, you know, they are entirely two different things. It's just uh, that we, we felt that, you know, Nigerians, we have seen a lot and we're going to see more. But there is nothing new that is going to happen in this country. If the judiciary did the right thing, we will see what we we'll have seen before. And I want to assure you, Nigeria will continue to survive isolation. But we will continue to strive, and the party will give a plain, plain ground for people who are willing to come and instigate for power shift through democratic means. The party is there, Labour Party is there. We have been in the field, we have been in the political arena, we have had governors before, we have had senators before, we have had a lot of them, but the only thing is that we do not have someone who as fair to be the president that gather this much mm. momentum as in Peter Obi. So we believe if Peter Obi and the obedient remain with the party, certainly Nigeria is not going to be the same, you know, treasure you know, a dose bin where everything will just come and just, a lot of things will change, even the way the government is going to be run. In the event that, you know, we, I do not foresee that we are not going to win in a clean, clear, you know, court of law. I do not see that. I have in mind that the judiciary will do the right thing. The wrong thing will be reversed. That right. is my feeling. Well, obviously, we can't prejudge what the court is going to do. Well, so it's we'll, my we'll, feeling. We'll, it's not prejudging. No, no, of course. So. You're perfectly entitled to yeah. your feelings. Um, we'll have to see what happens. But at the moment, the president-elect is Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Do you expect that a Tinubu government will want to control the narrative? And in such circumstances, people who disagree with them, for example, in a, in a fairly radical manner, will be watched and put on file and maybe have their opinions in some ways suppressed or, or you don't believe they'll go that far? Well, what I believe is this. We are now in a new Nigeria. For somebody, no matter how powerful he thinks he is, to come and say that he's going to suppress the earning of Nigerians to have a better Nigeria, he's just been a joker. Presidential or whatever. You cannot suppress the wishes of the people now if you want to have the nation. So we are hoping whatever the circumstances, whatever the outcome of mm. whatever is going to be, we're going to have a better Nigeria. Well, when you say better Nigeria, would you say that after the elections, the political divide is now perhaps more rigid than it was before, or is it very finely balanced in a clearly fragmented political system and country? Well, you see, the, 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 the problem we have is more of ideological in the way 
uh, the other presidential candidates and in the other parties and our own presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Ovi, you know, look in, you know, the way to govern the country, the way to bring, you know, uh, the desired change mm. in the government in, the, in Nigeria. So uh, we, we are Nigerians. We will not allow Nigeria to rot in at all. We will not allow it. So we will continue to force, to push, to make sure that a better Nigeria is, right. you know, uh, has arrived. Nobody can change the narrative. It has already been changed. You cannot do Let them come. They are making noise, you know, talking, you know, doing their, uh, you know, all their, uh, uh, you know, noises. But they, can, they are not going to change it. We are there. The good people and the well-meaning Nigerians are watching. And we want to see the outcome of the judgment before anything First and first. Well, some would argue that you were watching the elections and the rug was pulled out from under your feet. <laughs> now you're watching the courts. Well, you and see... Perhaps, you <laughs> I mean, I, I can't prejudge the court. But if Bola Tinubu wins in the courts and legitimizes his victory at the polls, will it be the end of the agitation against the results of the elections by the obedient movement, the Labour Party? Or will it be that one chapter has closed, but there is much more to come? Well, I'm essentially the, asking you the same question I asked you in a different yeah, yeah, way. Yeah, I know, and mm. I'm going to give you the same answer. We're we are earning for a better Nigeria. Mm. And I'm sure Mr. Peter Obi is not going to stop short in getting anything less than that. As a, as, a, as, a, as a president or as a presidential candidate or as a citizen. Mm. He has the support of the people. We are behind him. And by vote, over six million people are behind him to push forward for a better Nigeria. So whoever is on the helm of affairs has a lot to do to make sure that he has also taking good care of the ideological and the inspiration of those people mm. at all. So we want to make sure that Yeah, well um, so really we, we've literally got a, a minute or so sort of left um, a couple of minutes um, is, is there a crisis of ambiguity for the movement I mean, are they in some sort of political wilderness? Is there existential anxiety? I mean, that, the, the reason I ask you that is that I, I'm, I'm trying to see what is going on in... I mean, obviously you can talk about the things you're talking about, but psychologically, mm. at the moment, you are suffering from the agony of defeat exactly. because you, you have been defeated in, in the election. Um, you're, you're trying to change that in the courts, but I'm wondering whether there is existential anxiety, particularly within the Labour Party, because, I mean, the, the obedient movement can just, you know, they can sort of dissipate. Hmm. But as a party that, that depended so much on that movement, are you having concerns about what happens next? Well, um, honestly, just... Um the uh, Labour Party, that is why we open our doors to people mm. who have participated in the OBBM movement to come and join the party. Of course, we have been, it's a, it's a huge disappointment to well many Nigerians. And uh, you give it to all well many Nigerians mm. if you felt sad and you felt discouraged. But you know, we have to sit up, stand up, and then look forward and continue with our ideology to make Nigeria a better place to live. We are bound and we are determined to ensure that happens in Nigeria now okay. or in the future. Right. And I call on all obedience 
to come and have a place in Labour Party. They already have a place. Labour Party is a home for them. It is, you know, a platform legally provided for them to showcase their anger, to showcase their wishes, to showcase their aspiration for a better Nigeria. So Labour Party is a place for them and it's a place for all when many Nigerians who should come and work together and ensure that we salvage this country. Okay, on that note, I want to thank you very much indeed. Umar Farouk Ibrahim is the National Secretary of the Labour Party. My people, now the video now on a new watch for me, so on a see what Apple for inside the video. All right, my people, I would like to end the video for you. Make gonna let me know waiting on a thing for the comment section. And if I never subscribe, make gonna subscribe so that I'm not gonna miss any latest gist way at the upload. Now, bye bye till I come on away next time. Bye, guys. Catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.